One thing we have to remember to... Ah, stupid tripod. Shoot. Hi, I'm Tony from the Handlebar Workshops. Today we're in the garage workshop. This is going to be another one of those videos where we use scrap pieces to do a project. Uh, in this case, uh, I need some better way of mounting a camera and microphone and stuff. So uh, I'm going to make some arms out of some scrap plywood. So it's just three quarter inch plywood. I'm going to cut it down into two foot sections and then round off the corners. I'm going to cut these pieces into two foot lengths. So I measured two feet between the blade and this piece of wood here. I'm using this wood as a spacer so that way as I'm pushing it with the miter gauge I'm not up against the fence here. That drastically reduces the chances of kickback when cutting like this. So all you do is push it up against the piece of wood and go in. Now we need to find the center of this piece of wood and mark a nice radius around here. And now I'm going to mark the very center so I know where to drill. Now with all of these marked, I'm going to take them over to the belt sander and sand them down to these curves. And here's a quick tip for when your sanding belt is completely clogged full of dust. This is just a little piece of rubber. Uh, buy them online anywhere and uh, all you do is hold it up to the belt as it's running. It gets it nice and clean. Or at least cleaner. So here's a completed version of one of the boom arms. What I've done is I've rounded over the edges here so they're not painful to hold on to and I drilled a quarter inch hole where the pivot point of the compass was at right here. So then I made a smaller version and I cut off the ends and I rotted two grooves in there that perfectly fit these rounded ends nice and tight. The end result is that I end up with one of these and this center is just big enough to fit in the boom arm. Then we can take the quarter inch bolt, pass it through here, and it becomes a nice little pivot point. And then there'll be a hole here to attach a camera or something else. I've got this wooden block set up, so I can just insert the part, bring the drill bit down, and it drills a nice hole right in the center. We're going to be doing four of these, one for each end of the boom arms. So these are dry and we pulled them out of the clamps. Uh, the only other thing I've done since then is I've created another stick uh, with three holes in it. One of them is countersunk on one side. And what that's going to do is it's going to provide us with a bit of a pivot here. You can see this is the hardware we're going to be using here. And we've got two sticks here, part of the boom, that are going to connect up here with this hardware. The way that I see this going is you got a fender washer here that goes on here like that and that goes on like that. You can kind of see it poking out just a tad there and then we put a lock washer on that. So this is basically what we're going to end up with. You can see here my cell phone holder doubling as a camera with the quarter 20 inch or the quarter 20 bolt holding it on like it would a camera. It's holding it onto the stick that twists like this. There's the fender washer in there and the lock nut is underneath. And you can see we've got plenty of clearance here for this to rotate all over the place. 
And we've got the wing nut over here and the bolt over here. And it can go down and go up and go around. And then we've got the other bolt over here with the wing nut up here. I'm not too sure about this. I'm not sure I like this. It's kind of hard to tighten it up. I'm thinking maybe a thumb screw at these joints would be beneficial here. Otherwise, because if you try to tighten with the uh, wing nut, the entire thing just moves. Uh, and then at the top end up here, we're going to have another one of these. And the idea is that we'll be able to clamp this to a shelf or screw it into the ceiling. And then that'll allow us to move the boom around like that, to move it up and around like that. It'll give us a nice sturdy point to attach it from. But I don't like the look of this plywood. So I'm going to paint it the same color as my sole, black. So I decided to make a design change. I don't want to try to be in there with a wing nut trying to tighten that up and have the other side of the bolt move on me and stuff like that. So I decided on one of the sections at each end I would add in a T-nut. It's got a little screw in here to prevent it from coming out or spinning. And it's on both ends of one section. And then we'll have the other sections come off here. And then instead of the uh, wing nut, I made little wooden knobs. Uh, they didn't quite turn out the way I wanted to. I did film some of it, but um, I will remake these and put out a much better video. But the basic idea is that it goes in to here. And you can see it coming out there. Turn it. So to kind of see how that all looks together, kind of got a section here. You can see it's got the knob like that. The idea being now I can just use one, I can position one in one spot and then just tighten it with one hand like that. Another cool thing is that they, the sections come together and store nice and compactly like that. So let's take it inside and uh, see how it works. So I think the project was a success. You're on the boom arm right now and uh, it's holding just fine even with a uh, cord dangling from it from the microphone on my lapel here. One of the nice things about this boom arm is I can sit here and pound on the desk and there's no shake in the camera. I've got some upcoming projects that I want to do where I want a top-down view but uh, I don't want to put you on a tripod on the desk here just in case there's some movement. So I'm going to fool around here and see what kind of cool shots I can get. So that's a good standing height. I can do that. That kind of works. Let's see how I do getting some overhead shots, which is what I really wanted to do. So here's a sneak peek at a, a upcoming project. Got a nice top-down view. Be able to clearly see what I'm working on. I've got everything oriented on the view screen so I can see what you're seeing so I make sure everything's in frame. I like that. So I hope this project comes in useful for at least someone out there. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, think about hitting the subscribe down below because uh, we'd love to see you again. And until then, I'll see you next time.